he had plenty. He had plenty of time to get those title, those additional title shots, in. and he undoubtedly will get them in some pass flare and you know, and you know, I, I, I have a little concern over uh, you know the security of his future. And then you finish it off with Horton and uh, and uh, Gunther, and that was a solid old school wrestling match. And the people in Berlin were just so into it. It was it was fantastic. They did a great job. I sent uh, I sent uh, um, Triple H a little note. I said, "Fantastic pay per view, the best one I've ever seen." Of course, wow. he didn't he didn't answer back yet, but. <laughs> I bet he bookmarked it though. He's he's got oh, yeah. it. At, uh, he pinned it at the top. No, of you it. have to give him credit. I mean, that was sensational. Yeah. Oh man, it was. Yeah. Let's talk about that main event: Gunther versus uh, Randy Orton for the WWE uh, World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, the crowd was very much into it. Very much into Randy Orton. Very much into Gunther. And like you said, Greg. Man, they told like a uh, old school wrestling yeah. story. Uh, they got about thirty something minutes, I think, in total. And man, they made they milked it for every second that they had. I thought uh, the what they did, uh, the pacing of it all was really, really great and made it stand out in itself. But they took a they did that nice spot and the commentators table. I thought added another ripple to it. And then the finish, wow, something special. Magnum, what were your thoughts on that main event match? Well, it it was perfect because I mean they everybody knows their their role and their place. I mean, Randy just signed a you know five year you know extension on his contract, and and he's firmly cemented you know to be the greatest of all time, and you know, certainly Hall of Famer many many times over. But the role he played in taking Gunther to another level because everybody said, "Oh, Gunther's like you know, yeah, Gunther has all those things." But if you don't have the, the the guy to put you through all those paces and to make you through that contest the way Randy made him in telling that story, he took him to a, a place he'd never been before yeah. and, and elevated him so high that it took no, nothing off of Randy. I mean, they could yeah. pick that up and have a rematch tomorrow. Anybody can get beat in a rear naked choke. And I like the fact that they made it like a rear naked choker. You know, I mean, too many people are smart, watch the UFC, you know, watch the stuff. And, you know, there's no picking your hand up three times. If When you when you get a rear naked choke, if it's on 15 seconds, you're, you're toast. It, it's it's all over. And so it was it was just very believable, solid. You know, Randy is, you know, so big and, and just physically intimidating looking. And moves, you know, still like a cat at 290 pounds that he weighs. You know, I mean, you can tell he's buried. I mean, he doesn't have the, you know, the 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 trim trim waistline that he, you know, has had at you know 50 pounds lighter. But he's just monstrous in 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 size. And Gunther needs that kind of guy to work with. Uh, you know, big, you know, big, strong, rugged guy to mm-hmm. to, to tell that story with. So it was perfect. It was great to show of respect they had afterwards, you know, uh, yeah. the, the extended hand. And, uh, you know, and I heard a lot of people complain about, oh, Randy, need, you know, he's got to get, he got plenty, he got plenty of time to get those title, those additional title shots in. And he undoubtedly will get them and some pass flair and Cena. And, you know, I'm, I, I have a little concern over, uh, you know, the security of his future, but he's showing what a, what a valuable asset he is and a true, you know, team player for the business and the well being of the overall company. Because making that making that guy like he did is gonna put more money in the bank for the company than uh, you know anybody could ever imagine going down the road. Yeah. Oh my gosh. hundred percent. He's yeah. And it's neat to know that he signed for a long-term deal and it creates already that impression in your mind. Wow. He's going to, he's going to beat the record. He's going to have that going for him. So I think that's a, that's a good move to make that public and uh, make it known. Greg, I wanted your more thoughts specifically on, on the performance of Gunther and what you think he adds to the product overall now, like as the champion. And well, this big PA said it event. best because Randy brought out the best in Gunther. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and that's that was his role. And it, only veterans, real veterans of the sport, really know the whole psychology of it can come up 
with that. And he, he laid it out for Gunther. And like you said, it brought Gunther up. You know, to me, watching Gunther before, yeah, he was a big rugged guy. But how far can they go with him? Yeah. Well, now he has been made the champion. They put that stamp on it. And now they can put him with anybody. I don't know if anybody else is going to have that kind of a match with him. But uh, it'll it'll awaken uh, Gunther up to what he has to accomplish down in the ring, the way he has to handle it. It's a great well, you, You've got Cody Gunther down the road. You've got Roman Reigns Gunther down the road. I mean, you've got so many ways they can go. But again, it, it took him up to that truly, you know, main event world's heavyweight champion player to where yeah. he's on a complete par with what Cody's doing with the, you know, undisputed title. I like the way they've continued to elevate that world championship title because it's, a, you know, throwed back to the, to the big gold, to the 10 pounds of gold, to the, the heritage. It was uh, so instrumental in, in, in building the business and it, it's it kind of an homage, you know, to the past. So mm-hmm. I really like it. It yeah, feels I, like a big deal. It feels like a big deal even more so now that Gunther has held it. And like, he looks like that defending kind of Luthez vibe. He's got that, but he's like a foreign heel, but he's not playing the foreign heel to the extent of like, oh, I hate America. I hate all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. It's more that he's condescending, but he's also credible. Like you believe him and like, he's very manipulative. You kind of saw that too, following up on Raw when it came to him and Sami Zayn. But um, yeah, overall, I wanted to get both your guys' thoughts to just on Randy Orton and what your impressions of uh, in the history of the business as, as a legacy, you guys seen so many talents come and go. Uh, you've been in the ring with legends. You are legends yourselves. Uh, Magnum, g- give me your thoughts about overall Randy Orton and where do you, would you kind of put him in the echelon of all time wrestlers? I think honestly, that we're seeing the best version of Randy now that he's been in his entire career. Wow. And, and, and he's been, you know, excellent and done, you know, five-star rated matches and wild and pops and things. But the the command that he has of er- every step he makes, every turn he makes, every nuance to the crowd, they're hanging on every word. And and he, he's got su- such a, uh, you know, air about him. And there's no wasted mo- moment, you know, movement in, in anything that he does. It's, it's there, there's no, there's no weak spot. There's no, there, there's nothing in the armor that you can pick on to say, well, that this could be a little bit better. It's like um, I, I'm trying to think of somebody to compare him to, and I really can't. Yeah. By that big, you know, that big and yeah. that credible, and that uh, with that ability to tell the story, and and also to communicate on the mic equally as convincing is what he does in the ring. Cause again, we've seen some, some guys that were absolutely, you know, stellar in ring performers and, and they just, they weren't five star, you know, on the microphone. So he's got it all. You know, he, he's truly the triple threat, you know, guy got the physique, got the work, got the mic skills. And, uh, you know, he, you know, I hope he stays good and healthy and gets every single inch out of that, five-year contract and, and uh, you know, it just retires with the, the great legacy that he's already made for himself. He really has, dude, really you has. You know, one thing I I didn't know that Randy had already had back surgery. Oh, yeah. And he had a fusion in his back. Yes, yes. Which I had. It was up for about there's no days. way I could ever get back in the ring again. Of course, I'm a lot older, but, I mean, even in the younger days, I don't know how he's doing it. Well, Greg, I think that bigger is, size is part. I think that's part of the reason he bulked up. You're probably great point, Magnum. That's a great point. I think too. Well, so what happened? Uh, the reports came out during while he was out, and everybody's wondering about his status and when he would come back, if he would come back, everything like that. Um, doctors recommended that he never he didn't return to the ring. They said don't don't get back in there like and everything like that. He was going against doctor's wishes to to go back into the ring. And here, like here he is. And he's like Magnum saying, but doing the best kind of work in it, in his in ring career, arguably. So pretty fascinating. And I'm sure. And like, obviously he's got such a reputation for being so smooth and so uh, 
considerate of what the action goes on in the ring that he knows how to handle his body and what his body can and basically take. So, I mean, um, Randy's a pro. He is a viper in certain ways, more ways than just in moniker. So it's pretty yeah, cool. That's for sure. Yeah. Him back in the mix. Man, yeah, I love well, what he's a phenomenal, a phenomenal talent. And you would have to put him up, you know. You know, how can you how do you compare them to the guys that built the industry back in the 50s? Mm -hmm. You know, it was a different style. Sure. But yes. yet it was a slower pace, but yet they had all the tools too. Mm -hmm. And you gotta put him right up there with the, the greats of all times, I think. Uh just mm -hmm. watching him and how he he builds the match, how he delivers. Uh, how he sells, how he react, how he comes back, the fire he can show. I mean, he's got it all. Yeah. And, and again, you know, I, I heard him announce him one day at 270, and I could read his lips. He said 300. 300. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he may well be. I've never seen. He's put on some weight. He looks fantastic. And he still moves like a cat. He does. It's, yeah. it's remarkable. It's remarkable. It, it really is. Um. Here, here's an interesting comment from Raven Johnson in, in the chat. Uh, Greg, I want your perspective. Randy is on par with Bockwinkle. What do you think of that comment? On par with Bockwinkle. On par with Bockwinkle? Uh, I would say he's probably better than Bockwinkle. Wow, there we go. How about that? Uh, I mean, Nick was good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Uh Randy's exceptional. Yeah, he is. You know, and watching that match, you know, prior to that, you know, Randy is good. He's great. Yeah. But that match there made him and earned the respect from probably all of us in professional wrestling that from that old school. Yeah. Because that was an old school type match. Yeah, it was. You know? It wasn't the bing, 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 bing. They had some of those spots, but everything was at a pace and everything meant something in the ring. Yeah. Whether it was a I, punch or his, where he does the neck thing. You know, it came mm -hmm. out of the board and bang, and the people bang. And they yeah. just they took their time and told the story. Mm -hmm. And you don't see a lot of that anymore in, in, in wrestling. You know, and for TV, I know with the attention span of the public, they say it's eight seconds. You know, they want they want this bing, 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 bing. But when they got in there, those pay-per-views and they got the time, that's why I say that whole card reminded me a lot of old school wrestling and the storytelling that was in it and uh, everything that went along with it and built it and built that last match to, a, you know, a big explosion, especially getting that guy over in his own country just to – was sensational. And Greg, I think you make an excellent point too. You like mentioned it five match card and like, yeah, the attention span, it's so susceptible to what's in front of us all the time. The phone screens, uh, what we see, you know, on television, anything to that yeah. effect, it's all tailored to that. But when a wrestling fan is tuning into a, a five match pay-per-view and the, the time is put into each one of these matches and like there's attention to detail with that, you can still rope somebody in. There's a, it's just a matter of telling the story right and getting those fans invested early on. And they did such a wonderful job to build of this match throughout the weeks beforehand and then just the execution of this match. You know, you could really make an argument for this being the match of the year when it comes oh, to yeah. the pro wrestling, from a pro wrestling standpoint, for sure, I think. Um, yeah, it's just a testament to both those guys. 